built in 1892 and located on the northeast corner of the main quad, the Natural History Building is a landmark of the University of Illinois campus. It was designed by famed alumnus Nathan Ricker, the United States' first architectural graduate. Due to structural deficiencies, the building closed in 2014. Over the next three years, NHB underwent a $72 million renovation, transforming into a modern facility with new classrooms, laboratories, and meeting spaces. It reopened in 2017 as the home of the School of Earth, Society, and Environment, and the School of Integrative Biology's teaching programs, including the Integrative Biology Honors Program. The 148,000 square foot building hosts classes for more than 20,000 students each school year. Spaces throughout the newly renovated building were designed for flexibility, thus allowing for robust learning environments. In addition to classrooms, including movable stations and a variety of teaching tools, one room can be converted into two depending on class needs. This flexibility allows faculty to best serve students in their educational journey. The Natural History Building has an extensive collection of modernized classrooms. The main lecture hall seats 300 students and has been used for classes from introduction to meteorology to animal behavior. Outside of the hall, the digital screen shows natural phenomena, including ocean, currents, storms, and atmosphere circulations. New state-of-the-art laboratories in the building help students and faculty conduct groundbreaking research. These labs span areas of geophysics, geochemistry, sedimentology, earth materials, geomicrobiology, and remote sensing. In addition to being used for research, the labs serve students from across campus with learning opportunities. In one laboratory, 3D visualization is used to analyze satellite data while allowing students to use virtual reality to peer inside a tornado. Faculty, staff, and graduate students have found a home in newly renovated office spaces. Graduate students throughout the building are able to easily collaborate and meet with undergraduates, while faculty and staff enjoy personalized space through private offices. Because of its history as the university's third oldest building and its place on the National Register for Historic Places, careful planning focused on preserving the original details. The building's exterior, for example, includes restored masonry, tile, and marble. In 2017, NHB was awarded the Best Comprehensive Restoration Project by the International Union of Bricklayers and Allied Craft Workers. Care was also placed in incorporating green technologies. The project reused woodwork, doors, and windows and implemented water and energy efficient technologies. As a result, the Natural History Building has received LEED Gold certification from American Green Building Council. Nowhere is the conservation more visible than in the building's central open space known as the core. The beautiful collaborative space features outdoor lights provided by the building's original skylights. The rich oak floors found here once lined the hallways nearby. Now they serve as a place for all to enjoy a quiet break between classes or collaborate on projects. Prior to the renovation, the core served as a museum. On the east end, passerby can view items such as geodes once found there. The mixture of history and innovation extends throughout the building as a meeting and study spaces sit near historical items, including the plesiosaur. One of the natural history building's most striking features is its north side oak stairway, located on the inside of the School of Integrated Biology Commons area. A side of the staircase has been restored, the other side recreated. While the original building had two staircases, one was removed in the 1950s for office space. To recreate the missing stairs, carpenters created 3D images of the remaining one and then laser cut shapes to mimic the original. The renovated Natural History Building provides an inspirational, welcoming, and modern facility for students from the School of Earth, Society, and Environment, the School of Integrated Biology, and from other majors across campus and will for many years to come.